All right, here we are again, and it is, what are we on, the 24. I did some photo wedge steps on both of the SD45s. So now I want to just talk about these photo wedge steps first. Okay, so here are the ones I used. A-line, RPP, I think that means rail power products. This is what they look like. They're little sheets of like brass one of them looked like it the first one I did was silver and it was stiffer and these are these are pretty um, fragile okay so basically cut these out and then take a small pliers like this they have spots on them where you bend them like this um, they are very easy to bend and when I first did it I, I thought it had to be like perfect accuracy they're already made to bend so if you just get a decent grip on it um, they bend really really easy if, if you have to use any force at all you're doing it wrong cut them all out at the corners will be little places where you cut you need to take a file and file those off and then set all the bend them set them all aside make sure they're all the same so make sure you bend one set one way and then reverse the other set so when you're done you should have two sets of three steps that are bent with the angle part going one way and two sets where the angle part goes the other way Okay, let's take a look at them. Can you see that? They look fairly decent. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. Um, so the first time, on the first set I did early this morning, it took me four hours. I didn't want to wreck anything and I didn't know how fragile stuff would be and it was my first time using these and on the second set it has taken 90 minutes all right now how do you do it well when you first have the shell you take your razor saw you carefully cut down the middle of all the steps just like it says in the instructions follow these instructions exactly you take your flush cutter and then you, you're going to cut off a ledge. But the reason for the cut, you cannot just go in there and start clipping or you'll totally wreck everything. You've got to put the cut in there first. Then you go back and you're going to cut. I don't know if you can see. Where the old steps were, you're leaving a tiny ledge on each side of the old step and since i'm using a sp this one's i think the spectrum i had to take and take the exacto and make sure it went straight across because these steps do not fit over the steps like the instructions say because this ain't the shell for them but they're the only ones i had so i had to go with what i had so you're going to end up with a little shelf ledge and then this you'll take your tweezers and slide it in there and they should be pretty snug. So you take a drop of super glue. Before you put the step in, put a drop of super glue on each side. Then slide it in with your tweezers. And then you'll have just enough working time to kind of straighten it and get it set in place. And then you'll be good. Now, after each time that I glued a step on, I went over the air compressor and gave it a blast. Of compressed air so that I didn't have any glue plugging up the cool little see-through holes um, I really like these things now and in the future I'm going to use more of them on especially on any contest piece I think they're nece necessary the other three locomotives that we're working on already have nice steps they don't need to be replaced but etching these steps is pretty good 
The other one is outside baking and primer. This one's about to go out there. And when you're getting close to paint, I cannot wait for painting. The pressure is on. And the real pressure is on. Um, basically, all the old experience guys don't think this is going to work. They all say, yeah, no chance. We'll see. I don't believe there's no chance. I think I think we're we're on the right track. We're gonna find out when we do some pre-judging. But that is where that's where we're at. Things are looking good. I hope to paint today. And if possible, wanna use the new upgraded machine I got. I would like to do some live streaming on that. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. All right, time to get back to work.